How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be replacing the pull rope or pull cord on your small engine. Uh, and the other reason, I've already taken this one apart. I just want to change my rope because my rope is really old. This machine's about 20 years old and I don't want it to break on me while I'm working it. So I'm just going to go ahead and change it anyhow. I figured this is one of the most important things on your uh, mowers to be able to pull it and be able to get it started and uh, for 20 years I did lawn care and everybody would always bring their lawnmowers and stuff to me to get them repaired and this is one of the main things that would break on them and this is what they needed fixed and it's so simple and I'm going to do one today for you now I'm not going to show you this one being all tore apart it's pretty simple I've already tore it apart because I'm changing a coil on this so uh, all of them's different so it's just uh, whatever mower you have uh, it may be different tearing it apart. This one here, this little uh, thing here just snaps off the top of it. Uh, real easy to pull it off. And then you have four, there's three little bolts down in here. One here, one here, and one here. And then what you have to do is be careful because you'll get some oil drip on this. Uh, get it out of the way. And then watch your gas tank because this uh, gas tank is going to leak if you don't be careful with it. Lean it over to the side. We'll just lean over to the side and then uh, you can either take that bolt out up there or not. It's not a big deal. Um, and then we'll pull. There's just a couple bolts. There's four bolts, I think, in mine. One here, one here, and then two in the back. And then you can take your whole top off. So now you have just that piece there set in. So we're going to take it out in the garage, and we're going to go ahead and uh, replace the rope in there, and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, now that this is just a little bit easier to work on while we're in the garage, I uh, took the uh, oil uh, spout here off, the oil tube where you fill it up. Uh, and this is what I got to replace it with, and I could leave a link down below. For you guys, you can pick these up right at Amazon if you want, not too expensive, and uh, that'll give you a cord and the handle. We really don't need the handle on this one, but uh, probably just going to go ahead and replace it all anyhow. So let's get to taking this thing apart. Okay, uh, we're looking at the inside of the housing right now. This is your spool that uh, spools all your cord up on right here. Um, there's a little dot right here. I'm going to take a marker, a paint marker here. I'm going to show you. There's a little dot right there. And we're just going to make a little dot right here. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is, and I already know how many turns it takes to, and, and the only reason I'm saying this is because if your cord is broke, okay, say you ran it until the cord completely broke, then you're going to need to know this. Uh, you should know how many turns it takes to pull this out. See, there's one time all the way around. And then you're going to pull it again two times all the way around. Three times. Four times. And this one's going to go five times five times it goes a little bit further in five but it stops but five times is fine so what we want to do is pull at least ways five times around on this coil we want that much rope on there i don't really think you need that much but we're going to do it because it's there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and being that this one's pretty simple all i have to do is pull the cord out and then i'll put a stopper inside of here and uh Go ahead and put my new rope in my cord rope whatever you guys want to call it and uh tie it off which is going to be pretty simple but now if it broke i would have to wrap this up as many times at least five times to tighten that spring up that's inside of here that retracts the coil or retracts the, the cord back in it pulls the cord back in so if your cord is broke Get all the cord wound out, pull all the cord out of there, and then wind it up about five turns, and then hook your coil up or your cord in 
or your rope and then let it go back in and then put your handle on it. So we're going to go ahead and do this one here and we'll pull it out and, and stop it. Then we're going to take a screwdriver, stick it down through the hole here, and that's going to lock it into place while we uh, get rid of our cord, take our cord out. So, let's see here. I need to pull this cord back out, just like so. As you can see, this is a very old cord. And I'm just using a set of side cuts. Now, you don't have to use a set of side cuts. You can use a razor knife. Use anything you want. So we'll get rid of the knot and we're going to pull our cord right out of there. Okay, so there's our old cord. Now, I wouldn't mind using this piece yet too. So let me see how this one's put together. Pretty simple. As you can see, you could use this. You wouldn't have to buy the whole handle and all. You really only need the rope. So we'll pull the rope out, just like we did in the bottom piece. And we'll cut this off. As you can see, it's getting messed up a little bit, so eventually it's going to break. And then we just pull it back out of there. So we can discard our old rope, get rid of the old rope. We don't need it no more. Unless you want to tie up tomatoes or something, we could still use it for something. It's good for something. So we'll get our new cord out. All right, we got our new cord here. Now I got an old pair of real heavy welding gloves. And this is what's gonna help you get this cord in that hole, going into your coil, and in this hole here, and through this tiny little hole here. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a little small propane torch. You could do this with a match or a lighter or anything. This is just what I have at hand right now. And we're going to heat this up because this is like a, a plastic almost. So what we're going to do is heat it up. Once we get it hot, we're going to take our fingers and rub right over it just like that. And that leaves us a nice little thing. We can get right through all those holes. So we're going to do the part inside of the, uh, the housing here, which this is actually called a blower cover, uh, but we're going to fish it through. And what you want to do is you want to have this hole where your pull cord goes in line up with this hole on the inside. And mine's pretty close there, so I'm just going to go ahead and see if I can get these two lined up enough to get them to go right through there. And as you can see, that little piece helped me go right through there. See how small it is? You can see how small this is. It's just like a real long, skinny piece of cord there. So we're going to pull some through, and we're going to tie some knot on the end of here. Now that knot's not going to go through there, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my match or my lighter or my propane torch. I'm going to heat this up again so that knot never comes out. And the only way I'm going to get it out of there is if I cut it off. You don't want to put a lot of heat to it, just enough to harden it. Now once that cools good, that knot is in there to stay. It's not coming out of there. So we'll just pull that knot back through here, right like so. And now we have that on there. Now, I think a lot of people may say different here, but I'm going to let this thing go ahead and wind up about five of my turns. So I'm going to bring it back to this first one right here. You can see right there. And then I'm going to go in five times. I'm going to let it come around five times. One, two, my cord's getting tangled here, three, four, five, 
five times. As you can see, that slides right back up where it was before. So I'm just going to pull. I'm going to go ahead and slide this piece, this piece here. I'm going to slide it down through there. I think this will be okay to get through this one, but I may have a little bit of a hard time getting it through the other one. And this is the old piece here. So I'm going to lay my screwdriver back down in this hole to keep that from going back in. I'm just going to lay it right there. That's going to hold it for me. And I'm going to heat this end up the same way I did the other one and pull it with my gloves on. Just like we did the other one. Now this stuff gets super hot. It will stick to your fingers and you will not get it off. It will stay there. So you don't want to do this without a big heavy pair of gloves. So we're going to heat this one up. Good and hot. Pull it out. I don't think we'll have any problem with that one right there. Let me get this glove off. I have a hard time working with gloves, as you guys know that. So we're going to go ahead and fish this guy through. Right up through the hole. And we're going to pull just a little bit of extra out of here. I'm going to pull a little bit of extra. And then we're going to tie our knot. Now, I'm going to cut that knot off, or cut the, the extra off, just like so. And then we're going to go back to our heat. We want our match, or a lighter, or a propane, whatever you want to use. I'm going to heat this knot up. Now, that should never come out of there. That should be really good. So we're going to let that cool off just a second, and then we're going to put it together. Okay, I think it should be cooled off by now. So we should be able to pull this down in here, just like so. As you can see our knots, it's pretty small now because it was cooked. Then we're gonna put our cap back in, pull it out. And now we have a brand new pull cord in there. Good to go for another 20 years. Okay. So that's how you change the cord out of your mower. This will work on a mower, rototiller, or any a small engine. This is just a five horsepower engine. They all basically have the same exact setup. The only thing you're going to find different is how this thing is attached to your motor. So that's one reason why it didn't matter whether I showed you how to take this apart. It's just that you have to work your way down to that part that you need. And this is the part you need to take off. Some of them will have four bolts in the top and you can just take this off the top. Other ones are like this and they're riveted. Uh, there's uh, so many different types. But don't uh, have no fear. You can do this. This is pretty simple. And don't forget, look back on the video. And if, <laughs> if your cord is already broke, wind that new cord, put it in there and wind it up. Don't put it in there. Wind it up first. And then put your new cord in at least five turns. As you can see, this one needed just a little bit more, but it's not going to matter. You don't need all that cord in there. You know, four foot of cord, there's a lot of cord to have in there. And I think this one was 80, 88 inches. Yeah, I think this was 88, it was 88 inches long. And I cut off that much. So four foot is really good enough. If you don't have that big a piece, it'll be fine to start your motor. Basically you can pull on this cord and take off running with it. Uh, that's how long the cord is. So you don't really need that much. You don't pull that much. But I think if you wind it up four turns or five turns, you're going to have more than enough rope inside this to be able to start your engine. So that's how you change the pull rope, pull cord, whatever you want to call it, in the top of your lawnmower engine. Pretty simple job. Uh, don't hire nobody. Uh, you can do it yourself. Just keep track of your bolts and where they go. Get yourself one of them little magnetic trays. Put all your bolts in there. Make sure you put them back in the same holes. Well, I'd like to tell everybody thanks for watching my video. 
Don't forget to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Till next time.